Right, okay. I mean, I know I've got bigger priorities. I mean, I've I've got to find Sean. This uh, scientist who's escaped from the Institute called Virgil somewhere down here in the glowing sea. But we just don't have the kit ready. Struggling to find resources, just basic things like adhesive to get the uh, armor upgraded, for instance. I mean, yours is always getting damaged, McCready. It's T51, pretty good stuff, but yeah, it keeps taking too much damage and too easily. Uh, there's also this mechanist to deal with. But I'll, uh, I think I'll want to accompany Ada on that. She's got her vested interest in dealing with this. Whoever it is who's sending these robots out and causing problems for caravans. Um, but I really want to deal with this this problem of having to repair things and whatnot. I mean, it's taking it takes too long to have to go all the way back to Red Rocket. I mean, I'm sending like salvage teams back there, so that's probably not too bad when you're in the north. But where? down here in the south so I need somewhere to I need another settlement settlement where I can start sending the salvage and where we can get repaired uh, a lot easier and a lot cheaper than having to go into Diamond City to do it it's not always you know easy to get a hold of steel over there when I mean, you can buy the steel but there's aluminium and plastic now for the T60 so I need to find somewhere so I think what we'll do is we'll head into Diamond City. Uh, let's see, there was I was gonna yeah I was gonna have a look at this codex because there was something else that was there was something else I picked up there that would seem quite interesting. Uh, yeah, this Robco. I want to hear about Robco, how they've done throughout the war. Robco Industries was to computers and robotics what Poseidon Energy was to the energy sector. Founded by Robert House in 2042, it became one of the most influential and profitable corporations on the face of the planet within five years. By 2077, it was omnipresent, with its operating systems and software present in every computer in the United States, and its vast catalog of robotics used by both civilian and military clients. Collaboration with General Atomics birthed Liberty Prime and a vastly upgraded Mr. Handy, while Robco's own line of iBots, Assaultrons, Protectrons, and the mighty SentryBots ensured the company had more money than it knew what to do with. When it partnered up with Vault Tech, winning the bid for delivering personal information processors for Vault Dwellers, its profits increased even more dramatically with Pip-Boy 2000 and 3000 series, setting the golden standard for personal computing for the remainder of the back win. It goes without saying that Robco did not play fair. A combination of aggressive expansion, ruthless takeovers, and a pinch of diplomacy put it on the pedestal. And if anyone raised a stink, well, they'd first have to figure out how to tackle a corporate giant and its deliberately Byzantine structure. What the heck was that? Was it a vehicle? It's a brotherhood of steel. Ah, oh, up against mutants. They run around somewhere. Yeah. There's a mutant around somewhere. Carrying too much. Yeah. It's typical, I'm just over the limit. Come here, Red McCready. Come here. Come here. Come here. Would you stay still? You get you're as bad as the plumbing dog man. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Ah. Full set of T60 here. Wonder if I can uh, 
borrow this. Not that I want to end up looking like a lighter one, but probably too heavy for you to carry, isn't it? <clears throat> I think what I'll do is I'll uh, send this back to Red Rocket because then if I can get a full T60 suit, that's better than what I've got now. Mine's a mix of T60 and T45s. If there's any any spares, we can upgrade some of your gear. I know you're in a you're in a full T51, aren't you? Could be better. Put that in there for now. Hoping we just give it a bit of a repaint. Oh, it's Mark II as well. Full suit suit of Mark II. I just need to well repaint it, shall we say? Uh, what else have I got then? I must have picked something else up. Some over carrying. It doesn't make sense. Why am I carrying it? Still over the limit. Yeah, I'm way too close to the limits on things. It's just crazy. Just have a bit of a look around here. I mean, anything that's useful I can send back. But I need to hide that, uh, that armor so the salvage crew can come in and pick it up. I kind of feel bad for the Brotherhood of Steel, like, but you know. I'm in. I'm in just as much need as they are. It's all about survival out here. So, a bit of lick of paint. So, it looks like Brotherhood Air. Uh, no, that wouldn't be good. It looks like Minutemen armor. That would be useful. Right. Come on, you two. Ah, yeah, ceramic. I need ceramic. Comes in handy for the robots. For upgrading them. That's a good find, you know, just in this local vicinity. Wow, I'm impressed. Sort of turret around there. I mean, I'm quite tempted to actually rent a place. There's a there's a place I can rent or buy. I think that uh, Gen who's it? Uh, Geneva, I think it is. She's the secretary to to the mayor. She was on about a place I might be able to get within, actually within Diamond City. I mean, that might be useful. It's a possibility. Might be a bit expensive though. I mean, I've got a, not quite a few caps, I must admit. So that's always a possibility. I mean, it's safe there. It means I'd have to get, I'd still have to bring it. I mean, either way, I'm going to have to get a, a caravan down here. Yeah, I mean, no matter what I do, I've got to get a caravan down here to, to bring stuff in. Because I've got to be able to repair things, craft things, but... Uh, the only thing is, I need a recycling machine. I've got to be able to recycle things. 
It's actually tempting that, because I mean, if that keeps sending things to a settlement, it's going to attract scavengers and mutants and all sorts of things. Looks like signs of mutants up there. Yeah, there's mutants up here. Ah, oh, come on. Just gonna get it from here. Someone there. I expect Still company. Somewhere. Yeah, the benefit of getting a place in Diamond City. The benefit of getting something in actual Diamond City. <laughs> The benefit of getting something in Diamond City is that it's already protected. Well, I must admit I'm a bit concerned because the, uh... seem to be, uh... We're splitting all that, right? Getting hit. Uh... You, you don't need it anyway. It's not really in your interests. You keep calling it junk, you keep complaining about junk. I think your benefit is to get better armor out of it, mate. That's the plan. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, can, can you carry some of this for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, someone's got to carry it. Um, don't think I've got any of that. Here's some shotgun shells. You've got quite a lot already, actually. You know, you're doing pretty o pretty okay on uh, on ammo. Right, is there anybody else in here? Any more? Any more for any more? Yeah. Well, that was good. Took it out with one shot. I mean, they've occupied a diner, but I don't think they've... Yeah, can't see me being able to... Can't see me being able to do anything with this place. Other than to clear it out and... Oh, dear lord. I should make that one of my primary agendas to get rid of these mutants. I mean, that's just... Uh, that's just sick. I mean, they're, they're actually they're actually eating people. I mean, I get it. There's no there's no real food. It's not as if they're like they're going to make decent uh, farmers or anything. I mean, they're, they're a lot worse than the raiders. Well, I don't know, the raiders kind of string people up, chop their heads off, and hang them from metal chains. Ugh. Need some? They're all, ugh, they're all horrible in their own way. You're at your limit, mate. Right. Dog meat! Come here, dog meat. Ugh, yo, no, 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 this is not good. Right, tell you what. Uh, have I got anything? Right, I can. Fooey. Well, I think I'll just dump these. I mean, really should do. Should really do with getting better weapons for these uh, settlers, to be honest, than just pipe rifles. Still over my limit. Come here, dog me. I know, I know. Let's see if I can give you some of these instead. It's not a major problem not having 38. Got plenty of them, I bet. 
still two over. It's not our armor. Um, well, I suppose I could do with something to eat. Nope, still over. Only over by about one. No, that's frustrating. You definitely can't carry any more, can you not? What do you want? Let's see if you can carry anything that I've got, just just to get her over that uh, hurdle. Uh, how about these cigarettes? No. Um, okay. Well, what are you carrying for for weapons then? Never mind, we'll have to drop that. You grab these. No, still can't. Now that's odd. Do a bit of trading and pull oh, balanced, okay. Let's see if he's got anything useful. Well, I may as well just drop this gun. I'd rather have the ammo to be honest. Right, come on. Let's keep searching around. And I think that leads into the apartments, but I don't see that being a being somewhere we can uh, occupy. I mean worst case scenario I think I'll end up I might ask just go back and ask Geneva if she's got anywhere where I can I can buy. Because I can't, I mean, I'm, I might be able to hold on to that Kellogg's apartment, but at some point they might actually just say no and ask for the key back. The only thing that bothers me is the. See, I mean, they still haven't replaced any of their, uh, their defensive turrets. It's got me a bit bothered that. Um, let's think, there's some mutants down, there was, yeah there were some mutants down here wasn't there? Maybe they're occupying somewhere. Where we can build. Yeah, watch it. Doesn't look like they've come back actually. Nah, it's just a blown out area. Doesn't seem to be anything. Anything left anything? Yeah. Eerily quiet around here. Don't like. <gasps> oh! Whoa, truth. Spoke too soon. Wow, you're not going to need that. Oh, <laughs> truth. That thing just came out of nowhere. Okay, so I can't. I think that's too much. Oh, that Have wasn't a plan. I was, I was actually planning to drop that, but never mind. Hmm. What 
that's uh, yeah, there's a subway station, but it's the trouble you can't. I don't think you could be able to like create a settlement underground, which is a shame. I mean, there's buildings. There's a lot of buildings. They're all like locked up. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got raiders here. Yeah, we got some raiders here. Ah, oh, look at that. I mean, the way they hang people up, that is despicable. Well, let's clear this place out. May as well. Ah, oh, come on. An easy lot to pick. These raiders, them. I look like raiders, but I'm not 100 percent sure. They might. There's a workbench there. I wonder if these are just normal sellers, then. Someone there. Hello? Friend or foe? Hey. Okay, yeah, okay, that's 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 a certainty. Right, okay, these are definitely raiders. Okay, that wasn't uh, too difficult to find out. You okay, dog mate? Any more? Yep, we've got more. Come on, McCready. Come on. We need to help Dogmeat over here. Ah. No, this is interesting. This is an interesting looking place. Oh, this has got potential. I mean, I want to rip all this lot down, to be honest, because I'd have to get some settlers in, though, to help protect the place. But yeah, this has got, this has definitely got potential, as long as, I mean, there's a door. There's a door there, but I think I'll wall that place up. That door's chained off. It's possible possibility if it extends a bit further I might be able to just wall it off there. That way I've only got one point of entry. Yeah, now that is a thought. I mean it's uh, probably want to get people up on the roof as well but if there's only this one entry point Should be reasonably easy to defend it from that one point, as long as you can get uh, coverage on the roof. Ah, let's do that. So it comes with a, it's got its own weapons bench here. It's got a cooking pot. You okay, buddy? Get a bit worried about you there, mate. Right. Okay, well. We're not too far out. We're on the actual... We're on the edge, right? Actually, we're close to the... Uh, close to the river here. That's not too bad. We're on the... Right on the edges of Boston. I mean, not really practical for down south. I would have to find something there. I mean, somebody mentioned this Warwick homestead down here, but it's a good distance away. I mean, I'm not ready to push into this too far into the south, to be honest. I mean, my main objective is to get into the glowing sea and get a general atomic so we can deal with this menace. Well, call them a menace. They're actually, wasn't the, the mechanist? Let's have a look. 
Well, somebody had some, uh, I'm sure there were some tips about this mechanist. Attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies, your protectors, and they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn of a new age. Hmm. Sounds like you're dealing with somebody who's got good intentions, but... I'm wondering if the uh wonder if this person like created the robots and somebody else has like taken over them. Because those robots were going around killing people. I mean that's anything but trying to save the Commonwealth. I mean was, well yeah. She says she wants to save humanity basically. People of the Commonwealth, but that them things are just going around and killing people. Doesn't make sense. Hmm. I wonder. I'll tell you what, let's see what we're gonna do with this place. Get it uh, get it up and running. At the very least I wanna I need a I haven't noticed any power up uh, Crafting armor facility, which is a shame. I'll have to see if I can make one of them myself. I think. But yeah, let's do that. Let's get this place up and running. Get it operational. 